Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the markets, kind of going over what happened, what didn't happen. And I did take a loss today, so I'll talk a little bit about that at the end of the video as well because yes, we did take a loss and it is Friday, so we're going to go over the stats on my Top Step account and essentially what I'm at. So let's just jump right into the charts. I'm going to try to make this a short one, but as we all know, sometimes this doesn't happen. All right, so we'll start on the daily time frame. As you can see, we've had a very bullish run this week, trading into multiple levels, uh, trading above this weekly in volume, version and volume balance, inversion and volume imbalance, into this new week opening gap, into these highs, and essentially I would have liked to seen it draw into this new day opening gap if we continued to go higher. It is Friday, however, so we could potentially see a TGIF setup. But I will talk a little bit more about that in a minute. So obviously very, very bullish this week. NFP week, lots of move. So let's jump down to the one hour. Again, we can see like even from the beginning of the week, it has just been higher and higher and higher and higher. And with that in mind, I was like, okay, I'm not going to short this market unless we see something that's worth shorting or, you know, something that we can see that's yeah we're shorting so we traded higher after the open left this opening range gap traded down into this new week opening gap and then higher into the new york pm sessions at i believe it was 10 a.m we had already hit these highs and we did have news this morning at 8 30 nfp and then again at 10 a.m the ism news anyways we've just been going really high i wanted to potentially see these relative equal lows if we were going to go short and a fill in of this opening range gap so we'll jump down to the 15 minute all right so this morning i was like okay i'm not gonna short unless i see something that's worth shorting because yeah i mean we've just been so bullish so this morning we've seen this 15 minute fair value gap that's also in confluence with the five minute fair value gap i was like okay i want to see this broken if we're going to short all right so keep that in mind when i drop down to the five minute time frame all right, so we're on the five minute time frame. You can see the five minute fair value gap I was looking at. I wanted to see it surpass that, go lower, and then trade into it, use it as an inversion fair value gap. But what I noticed was we actually traded down into the five minute fair value gap, into the consequent encroachment of that five minute fair value gap. And then we had this really nice reaction off of the five minute fair value gap. So seeing that, I was like, okay, we could actually be going higher today. We use that fair value gap as a PD array. It went down to the consequent encroachment. That means that we're looking for buys, considering we couldn't fill it in. Now, obviously, we did go lower. I did get in a buy this morning, so I'll show you where my trade was. But we did eventually go lower, breaking through it. Now we're consolidating. However, I wanted to see more buys because we did go into the consequent encroachment of the five minute fair value gap. So I'll just drop down to the one minute. So we had this run, we took out buy side liquidity here, traded lower, traded down into the consequent encroachment of this five minute fair value gap. We traded into this one minute fair value gap right here. And then we had like this displacement run and I was like, nice, look, we broke market structure took out these short term relative equal lows, traded into the higher time frame objective of the five minute fair value gap. Nice. Let's get into a trade. I'm going to enter at this top fair value gap right here. We entered. Our stops were protected by the low of this fair value gap right here in this order block. And we were just aiming for our five point take profit. Obviously hoping to see it take out this high and then trade into the new day opening gaps higher. However, as we can see, yes, we had all of these areas of confluence. However, it is Friday. We are in a very bullish, we are in a very, very deep premium. And we had already taken out a an area of buy side liquidity I was looking for this morning. So 
With that in mind, we did trade down into the one minute fair value gap and then we just kept on trading down, taking out the low, taking out that five minute fair value gap and now consolidating around. So this was my trade this morning. Yes, I took a loss. Yes, we wanted to see price go higher and it didn't. Yes, all of these things, but at the end of the day, I'm happy I got in the trade because it was something that I would have taken anyways. However, it would have probably been better on a non-NFP day and a not a Friday. So these are things I'm learning. So even though we did take a loss, I'm still happy that we were able to enter into the market. As you guys know, I've been having issues with entering into the market. So this is our trade for today. Now, my top step account is at negative 0.5% right now. So we are in a bit of drawdown. Again, I only take one trade a day, so I'm not trading anymore today. But we have taken three trades this week. We took a trade on Wednesday morning, which was a win. Then we took a trade yesterday, which was a lesson. And then we took a trade today, which was a lesson. And something that I've learned about this week for me personally is don't trade NFP week after Wednesday morning. <laughs> Because one, we just kept, we took two losses yesterday and today, and it's kind of like a cardinal rule for ICT, so why aren't we accepting it and not trading on these days? So moving forward, I will not be taking trades on Thursday or Friday of NFP week. And just seeing how it played out this week, I mean, you learn, right? So yes, I learned. We are in a bit of drawdown going into next week. However, next week's a fresh week. We have news on Thursday and Friday next week, so it might be a bit of a slower start to the week. But there's gonna be new opportunities, new places to take profits, new places to take stop losses. So it'll definitely be an interesting week coming into it with drawdown. But as far as my top step account goes, I am at a negative. 0.5% loss right now, so draw down, but we will be able to potentially take more trades next week and we'll just kind of see what the market has to offer. Yes, this week was crazy. This week was super bullish. Definitely have a lot of things to look at, learn from, and yeah, we're just going to move into next week with a fresh mindset, with good attitude with all the things that we've learned. We've become a better trader this week just from things we've learned, things we saw. And yes, even though I am in drawdown right now, I'm not worried at all. I'm actually super grateful that we were able to enter into three trades this week. Like that is huge for me. I was able to push the button three times. What? So I think going into next week, I'll be able to push the button when I see a trade setup form that follows my rules, follows these guidelines, and ultimately we'll kind of go from there, see what happens. So I'm going to end the video here. I thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something. I know I learned something. Don't trade Thursday, Friday of NFP week. All right. All right. We're, we're adding that to our cardinal rules. Like that's a thing. <laughs> But you live and you learn, so all right. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I'll be sure to post some shorts on the weekend. Maybe do like a fun type of video, but we'll see. And yes, I hope you all have a beautiful weekend and we'll talk to on Monday. All right, bye for now.